Hello. Um, I just wanted to share my uh, my band collection. I keep them in plastic bags, Ziploc bags. Uh, I have them sorted based on their country. Uh, other than that, I don't have them, you know, separated based on plastic or aluminum or whatever. I just have them by country and I collect racing bands, rollers, fancy birds, even uh, doves like diamond doves, ringneck doves and stuff like that. So most people only collect racing pigeon bands but I don't. I collect everything because I think they're all cool and uh, I have a lot of countries. I don't have as many as a lot of people. Like Don has a ton of different countries. I think he has like 90 something different countries and like over a thousand bands, which is crazy. I have like 600, I think. I'm not sure. I have a, I have all of my bands on a um like a spreadsheet from Excel and I put know the band number all the information and uh, whether it's plastic or metal and who I got it from and then I have another column for who I send it to and I put like dates and stuff on there too if I do but uh and I <laughs> I have those separated by country too so I can just look at like all the USA bands and I'll have IFAU IPB MPA or anything else that comes from America on just that list and I have it in a workbook and uh, anybody who wants to see all my bands I can send you the workbook if you want to look but um you know I have all the information on there so I even have like the individual um, serial numbers I guess you'd call them like IF 2010 TRC 123 so I even have that 123 part even though that's not really important because I and a lot of other people who collect bands we only keep one per year per club so in some countries don't really have clubs they have like districts I guess like provinces they have a set of numbers for that general area in which case I collect I collect every year from that area I treat it like a club some people just are concerned with having one from each year from that country like uh, the Netherlands for example or Poland or Belgium or something you know they just want 2001, 2002, 2003, and so on. Only one from that year, even though they might have different clubs or provinces or whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah. Since I like pigeon bands so much, for some reason I don't really understand why, but, uh, yeah, I collect one from each of those little club things for each year. Just like you would normally do with an American club like AU ABC club or something like that is the same thing. But um I think I had a point before I started talking about that. But yeah on my list I have you know those individual bird numbers on there which like I said aren't really important for most people but for me I just like to keep up with which bands exactly I have it helps to see if I have fake ones which some people sometimes make um, and you know they'll have like exact clones replicas of the same band which never happens with real pigeon bands because each bird has their own individual unique number so it can be traced um, and also so I can keep up with which ones exactly I send to people so Maybe I'll see it come back around, or my seat on eBay, which I hope I don't. I hate it when people do that. <laughs> I'll trade bands with them, and you know I'll pay the postage for it to get there, and then they'll go online and sell them. Hasn't happened to me yet that I know of, but 
I know it's happened to other people when it happens in funerals. But, um, I keep my bands in bags like this. And I know it's backwards for y'all, but I think you can tell what that says. It's MPA bands. Don't bother about that. But this is all my MPA bands. Uh, I've got metal ones, plastic ones, all different sizes in there. And the reason why I put all on there is because the MPA has bands in, uh, in England and, you know, the British countries. And they also have them here. And I don't really want to take the time trying to distinguish whether, you know, it's an English bird or an American bird that it's supposed to be meant for. So I just put all the MPA bands on the same American disc, because I guess that's sort of, you know, where it originated from. Anyway, there's my MPA bands. I've got a lot of plastic bags, by the way, and I keep them all in a drawer in my desk which is not the best way. I wish I had like a wooden like cabinet or something or some kind of filing system like Don has, which you know on Pigeon Talk as Skytex, Skytexas, TX, however you want to say it. Here's a couple bands that I have, or three bands that I have from Cuba. Some of the bands from other countries come with identification cards, or owner cards, ownership cards, whatever you want to call them. And uh, you can see it's got, you know, it's got like the federation on there, and it's got the year, and it's got the bird's unique number, and uh, on the back it's got stuff for <laughs> I took French in high school, so I don't really know what all this means, but it's got like color. It's like a pedigree, I think, on the back. It's got, you know, stuff for this bird, the six, the color, whatnot, and then the mother and the father's information on there, I think. If y'all can read that and tell me what all that means, you know, you can go ahead and do that. But, uh, I've got one for all three of those. And these are... Yeah, <laughs> Cuban bands. These are my IF bands, and you would think, being from an IF club, I would have more than that, but uh, I don't. Actually, yes, I do have more. I have strands of bands in this middle drawer in my desk that are like all this, well they're tangled up with everything, with the wire thing. Anyway, I got strands of bands from one of the older members of my club. They're out of the pigeon hobby now because of his health. And he had all these bands laying around. These are IFA 2007. You know, it's just a whole strand of sequential numbers. I didn't put that in the bag because I didn't really feel the need to. It's They're already in order this way, so I figured it'd be easier to keep track of them. And I've got some other strands of IF ones in here too, so technically I do have more than this, <laughs> but not a lot more. In a minute you'll see how many uh, AU bands I have. That's probably my biggest collection. And here they are. There's all my AU bands. That is a ton of bands. Ah, oh, they're so pretty and colorful. Uh, yeah. A lot of different clubs, a lot of different years. Uh, a lot of Texas bands from Don. Uh, 93 and 94 are the aluminum bands. Texas and I think SEC is one of them. The other one. I can't remember, but there's a lot of them. So, more than likely, if you trade with me or if you have traded with me before, you have gotten a Texas 93 and 94 
and probably some of the plastic ones too or uh the world of wings place probably got some of those because i have a lot of them and that's what i do and what all of us do we keep one and we get rid of the duplicates or you know say i have 10 of my club bands i only keep one and get rid of the rest so that's the way it is for that year anyway. um, czechoslovakia or just slovakia I've got two in here that I think are fake, might be fake, I can't tell. I think one of them for sure is fake, I'm pretty sure I traded away another one that was just like it. And then I've got one, a fancy band that is a 9mm SKD band. Um, I looked it up on the list and apparently that's from Slovakia or something. So I don't know. Uh, apparently, my family comes from like Russia or Czech-ish places. So I'm interested in getting Czech and Russian bands and like Austria and places like that. Because I think it's neat since that's where my family supposedly comes from. Anyway, here's my Mexican bands. I only got two. I need some more of those. They're FMC bands. I thought I had cards for them, but apparently not. Uh, Indian bands. I only have two of those. And I have a ton of Indian friends on Facebook. And I think they should hit me up with some bands, because I only have two. And they're relatively new. One's from 2008, and the other one's from 2009. So, if you can help me out there, that would be nice. Or Portugal. I only have one band. Uh, yeah, I only have one of those. It's hard to read. It is really hard to read. Let me see. I have no idea what year that's from. I can't see it in the back. I don't feel like getting it out. Um, Saudi Arabia. I have quite a few from there. And I've got cards for them. Here's a couple from Norway, supposedly. There's a big fancy band and one of the Icon bands. They have those in Norman for Norway, not Normandy, uh, Norway. Yeah. Icon band. It's pretty neat. If you haven't seen those before, you can stick the little chip rings for the um, electronic clocks in there. That way you don't have to buy chip rings separately. I have a lot of IPB bands too. So you can see it better that way. Whole bunch. A lot of them are duplicates. I have a ton of IPB B2008 and 2009 bands. Yeah. 2005s, 2006. I just have a lot of the same year. So if you need some of those, I have them. <laughs> These are other bands from the United States. Um, the red ones are, well you can't really see it. The lighting in my room sucks, I'm sorry. It's much better outside, but it's 12.42 a.m. and it's dark outside. But uh, the red ones are, some of them are NBRC, which is the National Birmingham Roller Club. And, uh, I know where those come from. The roller bands. And then I have some that are just called Ohio. And then it has a year and the birds number. From Ohio, apparently. But I don't know what club that is. I'm sure I could find it. And I think I've asked somebody before. But I can't remember. Um, but yeah, that's mostly what's in here that I can see. Is roller bands. CRC Central Roller Club, I think. And I've got a URC, I think. Uh, I don't remember what that was for. I think it was like a specialty club affiliated with the... Well, maybe not. Just a specialty club, I think. I don't know. 
Here's my Canadian bands. That is why I need to trade or trade with Pigeon Lover, I think, from Pigeon Talk. He has all those bands, and I have this. <laughs> I do have a card for one of them, but uh, I've got a couple really big fancy bands right there. That's actually, they've got other ones inside of them. That's how big they are. I think they're like size 13, size 13. And I've got a really tiny one that's FS. That's the what is it? Fancier specialty or something like that. I don't have many of those. The Netherlands, I've got one card. There's what I've got. Not many. Quite a few, but not many compared to like the AU bands that I have. Those are nice. And it's got, one of them has a neat looking band. It's like it's like the icon band sort of except it's not enclosed as much it's like you snap the chip in there or something i don't know it's weird looking keep it out the coating on it that holds the thing is clear so i don't know if you can see it on here but here's the band and there's like the little clippy things see I'm guessing the chip ring goes in there. It looks like it would fall out easily, but I don't know. It seems like the icon bands that we have would work a little better, but I don't know. I don't have an electronic clock because it takes the fun out of everything and it's too expensive. So I don't have a need for chip rings or icon bands or anything like that. Have my benzene quartz kind of spiffy brown looking box thing that I use. <laughs> it's a good clock. Here's my address bands. These are just like custom bands uh, from people's lofts. Uh, ben Hamill, I have one from him. Somebody else, David, uh, David E. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. But, uh, I know who that is. I remember you. And it's neat because it's got, like, a little bird stamped onto it. And then I've got one from Starleaf Jamal Jansons. I think it says. Um, I've got one from, uh, Jack... What is his last name? The guy whose grandpa or whatever is always asking for bands for his grandson's collection and they raise fan tunes. I've sent him bands before and he sent me a address band with the ones, the other ones. He does trade by the way. So he asks a lot of people but he's trustable. Like you can trade with him and he won't scam you. He will send you bands. Including these cute little address bands. See, it says Jack and it's got the phone number. But, uh, there's a little Irish flag. And it's got a little fantail on it. So cute. It's a red ribbon tail fantail. That's really neat. I wouldn't mind having some like that. And, uh, here's the aluminum one that I was talking about with the little bitty bird stamped onto it. It's cool. I've seen those come in different colors, I think. They're from the Philippines, I believe. Um, oh, snap. I exited out of my Okay. Um, but, yeah. I've got some other bands. I've got some address-type bands that, uh, that I found at my grandpa's house in my dad's old pigeon loft. And, uh... They're from around here, I think, and I don't really know, I don't know, I can't remember, but they're the tall, like the one that I just showed you, they're like the tall aluminum ones, and uh, they're not for trade. None of my dad's bands are for trade, um, and 
my bands, the ones that come off of my birds, like when they die or something, I always keep those. I don't trade them because they mean something. They're from my birds, especially if it's from a breeder that I had and I got attached to a lot quicker than like, you know, a young bird that got killed at a month old or something. But anyway, if it comes off of one of my birds after I've already banded it, I don't give it away. There's my UK bands. Northeast Homing Union and Northwest Homing Union, I'm guessing. I can't remember. N E H U and W H U fans. I've got quite a few of those. I could use more though. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It does pretty good close ups on this computer. But yeah. I've got a few different letters. There's a lot of letters. Wait, is this the one with the letters? There's one of the UK bands that has letters. I don't think this is it. I, or maybe it is. Yeah, it is. Anyways, English bands. I have quite a few letters, but I don't have them all. And I especially don't have like all the years with each letter, which is another thing with the English, British bands, whatever, uh, you know, they have, like, their clubs are letters, and, you know, like I said, some people only want all the alphabet, but I want all the alphabet and all the years for each letter of the alphabet, so, you know. Here's my bands from Wales. I have very few. I have... These are WHU bands, and I have T, S, K, and other stuff, but, you know, from recent years, they're not very old bands. Oh, wow, this video's only, or already 22 minutes, it's pretty long, and I still have a lot of bands, but here's my Philippine bands. Not a whole lot there either. I've got an aluminum one. I've got another one of those, or a couple of those weird looking chip ring band things. And I've also got a icon band, like a legit one that we have in America. That big green one right there. Um, yeah. I've noticed that with these, I'm pretty sure it's with these, with the weird looking uh, bands from the Netherlands that I showed you earlier with like the chip ring thing that they come in different colors even for like the same year and the same club I'm pretty sure that's the ones that came in different colors so I just kept instead of keeping like one of each color I just kept my favorite color <laughs> from that year so I don't know it's pretty neat that could get kind of confusing if you're color coding by year but GB is what I was talking about. The GB bands are the ones that come in the different letters that I only have like certain letters. I have a lot of L's I think from 2007 and you know I've got just from what I can see I've got E's and D's and X's and you know C's in I don't know just if you <laughs> If you have a lot of these, like if you're from there, uh, you can email me or message me or something, and I can give you a list of what I've got if you want to trade any kind of bands at all. I'll have the years, I'll have it simplified, I won't send you like the huge list, I'll just have like, you know, the, everything except for the bird number, you don't need that, you just need... The organization, the club, and the year. But, uh, Spanish bands. Now, this is kind of weird. Here is a Diamond Dove band, is what I'm guessing. That is a tiny band. It is so small. And it's got this weird, um, symbol on it. And so does this other one. I have a bigger one in here that has it on there. These are like fancy bands. It's got this weird symbol and I have no idea what it means, like what it stands for. If you can see that. 
it's like I don't even know what that is <laughs> oh my hand's shaking but yeah it's on there it's on the little bitty one too of course it's harder to tell because you know the little bitty one so a little bitty but it's on here too Let's see if I can get this without dropping it Beep. see there it is a little tiny band if anybody can tell me what that means I would appreciate it. I've sent pictures to people, like, I think I sent some to Jam Lombard. Oh, my legs hurt. I've been sitting here too long. Ugh, and I can't remember. That was a long time ago. I've sort of been on hiatus from band collecting because, you know, it's a lot of trouble when people, like, bombard you with requests and trying to get to the post office and not, like, I don't want people to feel like I'm ripping them off and I'm not going to send them bands, but I'm sorry if I'm delayed, like, you know, it does cost gas to get to the post office or cost money to buy the envelopes, even though it's not that much. When you trade a lot of bands, it adds up. Here's my Belgian bands. I've got a little packet of cards for those. That's quite a few. I have another little envelope. And I've got like a lot. You can see that's kind of thick. I don't know how many I have. But I don't really have that many bands. And that's another thing too. I collect cards even if you don't have the bands to go with them. I'll take the cards without the bands. I don't care. I mean anything pigeon. If it has a pigeon on it or if it's related, I want it. <laughs> I mean you can see like I have artwork up there on my wall like that is a stencil that I made in art and you know I can like paint over it and I'll have the silhouette of the pigeon and there's one there's one from fourth grade you know and I've got my pigeon right there that I made out of clay surprisingly it didn't blow up in the kiln and I've got like my whole row of bird books right there and my uh, my racing pigeon digests and stuff but yeah I collect a lot of pigeon stuff if I can find it, it's hard to find but, uh, back to band collecting <laughs> Scotland bands I only have like five not many French bands these are pretty because they're like aluminum bands but they're colored The MPA makes some of those too. And I've got cards for these bands. These blue ones right here. They're in the same little bag as those cards because they match. And I'm a little bit more reluctant to let go of those simply because they do match. I mean, that's sort of a rare thing. A lot of cards have gotten misplaced or birds have gotten killed and people, you know, sell or trade away the cards. Here's my Irish bands. Not a whole lot of them either. Other bands from England. These are confusing, I think, a little bit. But, uh, they're pretty. They're metal. All of them are metal. Different colors. Uh, they don't have, like, raised edges on them or anything. It's just like one smooth, they don't have rolled edges, it's just one smooth piece. They're pretty, they're shiny. Almost done, I think. New Zealand bands, I only have a few of those too. African bands. I have a lot of those, and I have like one card. I would like some more cards. These mostly came from Jan Lombard because he lives there. The thing that sucks about African bands is South Africa is SA. They also have South Australia, which is SA. So I have to go on Jan's list of like all the pigeon bands, all the organizations and the uh, club letters that we know of is all in one database and I have to go in there and look based on the year and the color whether it's African or Australian and it's a pain in the butt 
So if you trade me bands that are SA and you know for sure if they're one or the other, if you could please tell me if it's African or Australian, it'll make my life a lot easier. But if you don't know for sure, like if you haven't looked it up or you didn't buy them from, you know, that country or the person didn't tell you or something and you're not sure, you know, I can look it up and I can tell you. I can find out myself. Kuwait bands. Oof. I only have two. Yep. Polish bands. I have quite a few of them. And I have a ton of Polish cards. Holy cow. I have like a giant stack of them in here. See how many that is? And they're pretty too. Look at them. They're all fancy gold pigeon on there. I love cards. I don't know why. And see these have like little, I don't know, I guess that's like a little pedigree record sheet thing on the back too. German bands, I have a stack of cards for those too. They're all colorful. I've got like blue ones and green ones and pink ones. And they got little pigeons on them too. I don't have a whole lot of bands though from Germany. Australian bands. I got quite a few, but not a whole lot. Almost all of them are SA bands like I was talking about. Here's my unknown bands. That is something we were talking about on the thread was, you know, Don's only got like a handful of bands that he doesn't know where they came from. And I only have two. One of them is an SA band and I can't remember if it's because I haven't looked it up yet or because I just don't know. Like maybe it was the same color in 2006, but it's SA 2006 and it's white. And if you know what that is, tell me. And I've got an aluminum band in here that I couldn't find in the database. And nobody could tell me. Or they at least they wouldn't reply with like a for sure answer. And it says ASF 02. I guess that's 2002. I seriously doubt that'd be 1902. So 2002, and then like the bird number. I don't know what that could stand for. ASF. Yeah, I don't know. But if you know, tell me. <laughs> if you have any idea. I think somebody said it was probably a specialty club in the United States. There's a lot of those like little hidden clubs everywhere with like older people that don't have internet or whatever and you never hear about them. I also have these bands that I got from Larry O'Brien. I think he made them himself. Uh, he's got like a printing business so it would make sense and he had a ton of them and he, these are old, these are 2008 bands they come on sticks. I have like several sticks of these and uh, I trade them and I tell people you know he made them they're like custom bands and he sells them too so there's other people that have them and they band their birds with them nothing wrong with them I mean it's just another band and uh, I like them I guess they're APC which is misleading because APC used to be the American Pigeon Club which was a legit club, you know, that had their own legit bands, and they were a specialty club too, I think, like they didn't have MPA, APC, they had just APC bands, and they were aluminum and whatnot, and I think that club is no longer together. If it is, then it's one of those, like, I don't know, those clubs that you never hear about anymore and you can't find contact with them but yeah it's misleading because these are not for the American Pigeon Club I don't know what he intended for APC to mean 
probably American Pigeon Club. I don't know if he realizes that it was already a club. And it's confusing, but I don't know. I don't feel like asking him. Because I don't really care. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, he still sell sells them. He makes them every year, I think. I don't know if he has 2011 ones, but I know he had 2010. He had some blue ones, I think, and some yellow ones. But, uh... Those are my bands. I have some here that I haven't even sorted yet. But, uh... Yeah. Those are my bands. This is like a 35 minute video. I think I'm done now. <laughs> so there you go. If you want to trade with me, just let me know. And give me a list of what you have to trade. And I'll give you a list of what I have to trade. And I will look at your list. And I will see what I need. And I will tell you what I want. And you should do the same. So it will make it a lot easier. And uh, we'll get it on the way. I think I'm about done with my hiatus. I think I want to get back into it again. At least a little bit um, maybe take like one at a time instead of trying to deal with like several envelopes trying to figure out okay well I'm putting all these in there and sending them this time to this place so I'll just take it slow <laughs> but, um, it's fun it's interesting I think if you like pigeons or if you just like you know, collecting stuff it's a nice hobby you meet a lot of different people from all over the world. And it's really neat opening up your mailbox and finding packages from like South Africa and you know all these crazy countries that you would never get mail from on any other you know normal day. And uh, all these neat stamps on them. I keep those too. I don't know why. I guess because you know, I'm never going to go to South Africa or Australia or anything. So. I've barely been out of North Carolina. <laughs> anyway, yeah. If you want to trade, let me know.